Good evening, and welcome to Red River College's 2017 Spring Convocation. Please remain standing as we welcome our graduates.
Welcome graduates. Please rise and join in the singing of O Canada with our alumni, Rebecca Chambers. Please rise. Thank you, Rebecca. We may be seated. <clears throat> Welcome, and thank you for joining us this evening at Red River College's 2017 Spring Convocation Ceremony. We acknowledge that we are on Treaty 1 territory and the home of Métis people. We have gathered here tonight to celebrate the achievements of our graduating students from certificate, diploma, and degree programs. My name is Dr. Christine Watson, Vice President Academic at the College, and it gives me great pleasure to be your chair this evening. We welcome all of you, graduates, family, friends, instructors, chairs, and coordinators, as well as our platform party on this very special occasion. I'd also like to welcome those guests watching our ceremony live streamed. So what's this colorful attire you see in front of you? Wearing academic attire is a tradition that's persisted from the Middle Ages, when the first universities were founded. The variety of attire you see here tonight represents many institutions and many degrees. Each university or college specifies its own patterns and colors for the hood, which are unique to each institution. Velvet tams or bonnets are ordinarily worn by faculty members with doctoral degrees. At Red River College, the gowns are black. Certificate and diploma graduates wear a black V-sole with piping. And our degree graduate students, and we have two degrees graduating tonight, are specific to their programs. We proudly wear our academic attire with you tonight to celebrate and honor the tradition of convocation. I'd now like to introduce to you our platform party. I'll ask that you hold your applause until all the introductions are completed. Beginning with the front row and from my right, Dr. Mark Hoddenbaugh, Vice President, Strategic Development. Dr. Alan Lajemurier, MLA for Selkirk. Paul Vogt, President and CEO of Red River College. Paul Charette, recipient of the Red River College 2017 Honorary Degree in Construction Management. Marilyn Kenny, member of the Red River College Board of Governors. Neil Cook, Dean, Center for Teaching Excellence, Innovation and Research. Michael Watson, Dean, School of Construction and Engineering Technologies. Rayanne Thibault, Dean, School of Health Sciences and Community Services. Bill Noakes, Chair, Mechanical Manufacturing and Communication in the School of Transportation, Aviation and Manufacturing. Proceeding to the back row, and from my right, Lauren Sleggers, President, Red River College Students Association. Sean Scrimore, Alumni Manager. Tracy Capello, Executive Director of Finance and Campus Services. Reva Harrison, Executive Director, Strategy and Communications. Aileen Naidu, Executive Director, Community and Student Services. Carol Gerling, Director, Student Life and Registrar. Dr. Steve Robinson, Vice President, Academic and Provost, Brandon University. Dr. Frank Deer, 
Acting Executive Lead, Indigenous Achievement, University of Manitoba. Debbie Frankel, Vice President, Finance and Administration. Joanne Kelly and Dan Vanabonacor, instructors in the Creative Communications Program and our announcers this evening. Guests and graduates, this is your platform party for your convocation ceremony. <clears throat> They say it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a village to bring a student from their first day of class all the way to convocation. And tonight we honor those instructors, coordinators, and chairs who walked alongside you on your journey. Would our instructors, chairs, and coordinators, academic program leads please rise and be acknowledged for your support and contributions to their success. Thank you. I'd also like to acknowledge the following people who are participating in this evening's ceremony. Interpreters Cheryl Lavalley and Jennifer Turner, our piper George Morrison and pianist Linda Fern, Katie Buckborough and Marianne Venzen from Enrollment Services, our Chief Marshal Christine Seward, and Marshals John Conklin, Roxanne Duick, Lorraine Gendre, Parmit Gatora, Helena James, Crystal Jalowick, Adil Mohammed, Brittany Stenke, and Lauren Waples. Waples, thank you very much for your support tonight. <clears throat> I'd now like to call upon Dr. Alan Lajemorier, MLA for Selkirk, to bring greetings on the behalf of the province of Manitoba. Good evening to everyone. Who's happier tonight, the students or the families? That's, that's always, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that, I, I think that my family always used to come out to my grads just to see if I actually made it. That's, so that's probably why they're all here tonight too. So, so on behalf of the Honorable Brian Pallister, Premier of Manitoba, the Honorable Ian Wishart, Minister of Education and Training, and my colleagues at the legislature, I'm pleased to bring greetings to those of you who are graduating today, your families and friends, as well as Red River College faculty and staff. I would like to begin by also acknowledging that we are on traditional territory of Treaty 1 and the homeland of the Métis people. Thank you to Mr. Vogt, Dr. Watson, faculty, staff, students, and family for welcoming me to this convocation ceremony. I am honored to be here to celebrate with all of you. I would like to extend sincere congratulations to the graduates from the Center of Teaching Excellence, Innovation and Research, the School of Construction and Engineering Technologies, the School of Health Sciences and Community Services, the School of Indigenous Education, the School of Transportation, Aviation and Manufacturing. I would like to commend those of you who graduate today. You have not only proven to yourself that you can reach your goals, but you have also earned the respect of your peers, instructors, family, and friends. Acquiring knowledge and honing your skills through post-secondary education is a major step towards building a brighter future for you and also for your communities. Today's celebrations give us an opportunity to recognize not only the academic achievement of those who graduate today, but also the great contributions Red River College has made to our province. I would like to thank the instructors and other staff of Red River College for promoting excellence in post-secondary education through their service. Finally, please allow me to offer sincere congratulations again to all of the graduates on your tremendous achievement you have reached a significant milestone. I wish you every success in your future endeavors and enjoy the celebration. It's yours to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lajemodere. 
I'd now like to call upon our President Paul Vogt for his welcoming remarks and to present the honorary degree in construction management. Paul? Thank you, Christine, and uh, a very warm welcome, first to our graduates uh, and to all of your guests, friends, family, supporters. Special welcome to Dr. Lajmore. From, uh, from Selkirk to Dr. Deere from University of Manitoba, Dr. Robinson uh, from Brandon University, uh, to Kelly Orr from the uh, Certified Technicians and Technologists, and to Ms. Marilyn Kenny, uh, who is a member, as mentioned, of our Red River Board of Directors. Uh, and welcome to all other members of our college community, uh, alumni, staff, and in particular to the very large number of Red River instructors who are here today to give a final show of support to their students as, as they graduate and complete their programs, uh, or maybe just to witness with their own eyes that it's actually happened. Um, to our graduating students, this is your day, uh, a day for you to celebrate and to savor your accomplishments. And uh, for the next couple of hours, if you'll indulge us, for the rest of us to make a bit of a fuss over you. You've worked hard and you've made many sacrifices to reach this milestone. I think each of you knows in detail what that meant. Uh, the ups and downs of working towards a degree or, or diploma. The deadline stress, the late nights, the help, or maybe the shoring up that you sometimes needed. And I'm guessing a lot of that help and shoring up came from people who are now in this hall. And the rest of us may not know every detail, and probably it's just as well to stay that way, but I think we all have a good sense of what it means to set a goal like this and then to accomplish it. And we have a very strong sense of the opportunities that that opens up for all of you. And that's one reason for the pride that you're going to sense as you cross the stage in a few minutes. Uh, and of past convocations, and some of what I heard as people were filing in is anything to go by, uh, I think a lot of you won't just be sensing it, you'll actually be hearing it uh, verbalized very clearly. Uh, but what you've accomplished and the future that that opens up to you uh, really is something to celebrate. But there's more to it than that. Uh, the opposite of celebrating is to take things for granted. And we're living, as we all know at some level, uh, in a very remarkable time. Uh, with lifestyle and opportunities that are really the envy of people from almost all other parts of the world and would be astonishing to people who lived in generations before us. Um, but I don't think we do always uh, pause to, to reflect or to celebrate uh, that fact. We, we do take it for granted many times. And in particular, I think we take for granted um, the fact that we we enjoy a lifestyle and, and opportunities that depend on the hard work and the skills uh, that have been acquired by so many people uh, in our community who put those to work every day. Uh, the technicians, the builders, the educators, the caregivers. And I'd like to think that, that Red River people, which you are now and always will be, don't take either those people or the skills for, for granted. We're the place where careers uh, of so many of those people in Manitoba have been launched, where the skills have been acquired. And we celebrate that fact today, um, not just for your personal accomplishment and what it's going to mean for you into the future, but for the fact that what you do from here on in uh, and for decades to come is going to make so many things possible for other people in our community. So that's something indeed worth celebrating. I don't want to get too heavy, this is, a, this is meant to be a, a celebration tonight, so I'll end with uh, one of my favorite quotes because it's, it's brief uh, and in a way says it all, uh, from that sage of our times, uh, Conan O'Brien, who said at another convocation simply, just work hard, be nice, and amazing things will happen. So thank you, and again, to all who are here to support our graduates, uh, a special thank you for being here to, to be part of the moment and the celebration. Now, I have a very uh, uh, pleasant honor to, to perform. Red River College awards uh, an honorary degree, just one each year, and in fact, this is the first time that we have actually awarded an honorary degree as opposed to, uh, to a diploma. We award it to an individual who demonstrates high standards of excellence in their personal and professional achievements and whose involvement in the community is widely recognized. It is my honor and a very distinct pleasure to introduce Mr. Paul Charette, who is this year's recipient 
of our honorary degree in construction management. And I'll call him up in a moment, but I first want to make a few comments uh, about Mr. Charette. Fifty years ago, almost to this day, Paul Charette graduated from Red River College with a diploma in civil technology. He didn't attend his graduation because I'm told uh, Expo 67 was taking place in Montreal and he joined some friends uh, on a trip. Um, but there's kind of a neat symmetry to the fact that 50 years hence, uh, he's coming back to receive a degree in a, diplom in a, in a field that uh, he actually has done quite a bit to shape and inspire at Red River College. It's, it's very hard to summarize what Paul has accomplished in the, third, in the 50 year journey that began at Red River College. Uh, he is a legend in the construction field, having risen from project coordinator at Bird Construction to become the CEO, then to become the board chair, and having presided over the transformation and the astonishing growth of that com company to the point that it is one of the major operations now in North America. Along the way, he has received every conceivable award and recognition from his peers in the industry. But those accomplishments are actually not the most remarkable thing about Paul Charette. The most remarkable things are first, that like many Red River students, Paul Charette came from a background where such accomplishments, or even the acquiring of an advanced education, were not a matter of course, not the expected path. And second, and I think even more importantly, Paul Charette has never forgotten any person or institution who supported him along the way. In fact, uh, that's really understating the case. Uh, way beyond not forgetting um, the friends, the teachers, the institutions that made a difference, it seems to me that Paul and, and his wife Jerry, who is his partner in all things, are driven by a commitment to pay back 10, 20, 100 fold whatever benefits they have received along the way. They're the most generous benefactors of Red River College and of many other colleges across the country, and they are generous not just with their financial support, but also with their time. Each year they make a point of coming back to Red River College and spending as much time as is needed uh, to talk to the students who are in the recipient of the bursaries that they've endowed, uh, and who are, as Paul was 50 years ago, on the brink of launching careers in, in construction and engineering. So I won't say more because Paul has a few remarks of his own, but please join me in welcoming our honorary degree recipient for 2017, Mr. Paul Charette. Now, I think they're going to take a photo of us with me. President Paul Volk, faculty, distinguished guests, members of the Board of Governors, family and friends of graduates, and most importantly, graduates, this is your day. Good evening. I wish to thank Red River College for this award. I accept this honorary degree in construction management with a great deal of pride. And I must say that it's very humbling to be recognized in this way. And I have to add, I was joking a little bit with uh, President Paul Volk about it's only, I must be a slow learner because it's only taken me 50 years to get a degree. <laughs> but seriously, I would like to thank Paul for asking me to speak at convocation today. Uh, it's truly an honor and a privilege. This evening, I would like to touch on three areas of my life. My early years, in what was then a small community north of Winnipeg, my career, and some advice on what worked for me during my career. I must tell you that talking about my background was something I never considered doing, as to me it was very embarrassing and I thought people would think the lesser of me. 
It wasn't until I met Jacques Demers, the coach of the Montreal Canadiens, who led them to the Stanley Cup Championship in 1993, that I changed my mind. I doubt that many of you graduates here today will have ever heard of him, but I'm sure that a number of parents in the audience have. In about 2005, Mr. Demers acknowledged in his autobiography that he was functionally illiterate. He could not read or write, and yet he had the ability, the ability to coach an NHL hockey team and achieve amazing results. He then went on to speak on the speaking circuit to talk about his background and achievements, and he later became a senator. I met him at a Canadian Construction Association function about 10 years ago when he was a keynote speaker. And when he returned to his seat beside me, I asked him why he spoke of his background as we had very similar experiences. And I had never discussed my background with anyone. I will never forget his response. He said that people like you and I, who grow up in difficult family environments and achieve some level of success, we owe it to society to be inspirational and give others who are in a similar situation hope that they can change their lives for the better. For me, standing before you today is somewhat unbelievable given my background growing up in North End Winnipeg in a very poor and dysfunctional family environment with an alcoholic, abusive father. Six of us lived in a small house of about 700 square feet with no sewer and water, an oil furnace in the center of the living room, which had to be filled every morning during the winter before I went to school. After our father left us, we were on welfare for a period of time. He ultimately returned and continued his drinking habits. And I won't go into the, all the sordid details, but suffice it to say that watching your father trying to commit suicide in a living room with it was a life-changing event for me. With situations like that and many others, it was certainly a challenge growing up and trying to con concentrate on getting an education. Fortunately, I had great teachers and a caring community that gave me a $200 bursary in grade 12, which helped pay for first, year, first term of civil technology at River River College. I must admit, having an older, older, an older and much wiser sister certainly helped me enormously. I had called her to tell her I had received a $200 bursary, $200 bursary, and I was thinking of either buying a used car or going to college. And only as an older sister can, she said that I was being rather stupid. I could always buy a used car, but right now I should go to college. And needless to say, I followed her advice. After graduating high school, my dad told me I had to get a job and pay board and room. I informed him I was going to college. And he said there was no way I would allow, he would allow me to live at home and go to college without paying board and room all through college, which I did. He obviously wanted me to help support his drinking. And in order to pay for board and room and cost of college, I worked at a 24-hour hamburger joint from 11 o'clock at night until eight o'clock in the morning, every Friday and Saturday night for two years while I was attending college, earning 65 cents an hour for the first year. And in the second year, I became a cook and my salary increased to 75 cents an hour. I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Obviously my social life was pretty much non-existent. If I thought that my childhood was difficult. Words cannot express what it's like to have my first wife pass away after three months of marriage at the age of 23. I truly thought it was also the end of my life, but somehow with the support of an older sister, friends and co-workers, I found the strength to go on. Given my humble, my humble beginnings, I have been very fortunate in my life. The success I've enjoyed in my career as a result of my college education, being at the right place at the right time, a little luck, a structured approach to business has been, been beyond, beyond my wildest expectations. I've been given so many opportunities over the last 50 years 
I was given the opportunity to get a great education, met two wonderful ladies in my life, and my wife Jerry and I will be celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary next month. I've had the opportunity to work for a great construction company and help lead it through 20 years of unprecedented growth and successful and being successful, enabling Bird to become one of Canada's leading general contractors. I've had the opportunity to represent the construction industry in Ontario and nationally as chair of the Ontario General Contractors Association and chair of the Canadian Construction Association. I was thrilled and honored to be given the opportunity to be one of the external directors of the Association of Canadian Community Colleges, now called CICAN, for six years, which allowed me to speak at colleges across Canada and also help lobby the federal government for funding for college expansion across Canada and for increased funding for applied research and innovation. I have provided some background in my family life and my career, not because I want sympathy for my early years or brag about my accomplishments, but to highlight that anything is possible with a little hard work and a desire to be the best you can be. One of my life lessons as I look back over the formative years in my career is that life is not always fair and we are all confronted with challenges, some of which can, be seem, can almost seem to be overwhelming. But we will also be provided with opportunities and it is how we deal with the adversity and take advantage of the opportunities that will help define our lives. I can also look back and say with a great deal of certainty that adversity does not go on forever. Things change, there's a new day, and all of a sudden your life takes a turn for the better. But enough about me. This is your day. You, the graduating students, have a wonderful opportunity ahead of you. You've received an education that will open many doors for you and provide you with many career opportunities. We are all very fortunate to live in such a wonderful country. My wife, Jerry, and I have had the privilege of traveling to many other countries, and we always return to Canada, appreciating the fact that we live in the greatest country in the world, but also being somewhat dismayed at the number of people who complain and take Canada for granted. I now know that what I'm about to say is going to sound like I'm preaching. And I can remember very vividly back to when I was sitting where you are and some gray-haired old guy was trying to give us advice. Well, I'm going to let you know what worked for me in my career and what I believe in. The recipe, the recipe for success and in life, in my opinion, is as follows. Get a good education. You now have a great start. But in this age of knowledge-based economy, rapidly changing job descriptions, and new technology, lifelong learning is more important today than it's ever been. I know that is probably the last thing you want to hear after what you've just been through for the past few years. But jobs that you may have in the next five years could disappear. And you may be working in a job in the next five to ten years that does not even exist today. You need to be well prepared. And as a personal example, after graduating with a diploma in civil technology in 1967, and I, was, I normally don't say this, but Paul or Bruce blew that, and yes, I said 1967, I returned to college and furthered my education in an area that I thought might have some potential. I took a course in computer programming, and needless to say, it was the best decision I could ever make. And now, so, now for some other important ingredients to be successful. Develop a strong work ethic. Don't ever say, that's not my job. Just do what has to be done and your efforts will be recognized. Be a team player. It's not just about you and your success, but how you can help the team achieve great results. Develop strong communication skills, both written and verbal. In this age of emails, text messaging, and tweets, and an expectation of an instant response, I believe that it has had a huge negative impact on our more formal communication skills. In my view, strong communication skills are one of the most important tools that you will use for the rest of your life. 
I hate to generalize, but most graduates we hire, whether they're from colleges or universities, have a difficult time communicating effectively, especially when writing a letter or a report. The ones that can have a much easier time moving along their career path more rapidly. Be self-aware and take a course on interpersonal skills. You need to wake up in the morning and look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, how did I treat or how did I interact with my family, my friends and my coworkers yesterday? And is that how I would like to be treated today? If you don't already have one, develop a positive attitude. In our company, attitude is everything. We hire based on potential positive attitude and that is why we strongly support co-op programs as we get to look firsthand at potential new hires. We have a saying in our company when we hire, I can teach you the business, but I can't easily change your attitude. Take control of your career path and ask your employer for a career development program. You need to set realistic goals and share them with your employer. Be prepared to move wherever your employer thinks that you're most needed. It helped my career enor enormously. And frankly, I would not be standing here today if I hadn't moved to Toronto in 1988 and I was in a position to be, become president and CEO, particularly if I had refused that transfer. I was also transferred six times in eight years. In closing, remember that you're here today not only as a result of your hard work, but also as a result of some someone caring about you, most likely your parents, your community, a friend, your instructors, or all of the above, and that others will follow in your footsteps that may need your help. So remember how you got here and give back to your community and to this college financially, or equally as important in the contribution of your time. Believe me, it is so rewarding to know that you helped change somebody's life for the better. I would like to wish you, the graduating class, all the best in your future endeavors. You are embarking on a wonderful and remarkable journey. And frankly, I'm envious. I wish I could come with you to witness your success. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Paul, for your wise words of advice and your inspirational story. Just before begin, we begin the presentation of parchments and to honor our graduates tonight, including our honorary degree recipient, I am pleased to introduce the performance of an honor song. This tradition began on Turtle Island and was performed as a way to acknowledge those who have accomplished a great goal. Lauren Spence from the Summer Bear Dance Troupe will now sing the honor song in recognition of the achievements of all of our graduates tonight. Please rise for the honor song.
Miigwech. Miigwech, Lawrence. You may be seated. Red River College holds two convocations each year, a winter and a spring. Tonight's ceremony is one of three ceremonies this spring. Your program lists everyone who has become eligible to graduate since January of this year. Unfortunately, not everyone can attend convocation, so the names announced and the parchments presented this evening will only be for those who are present. You will find the agenda and graduate listings for our ceremony beginning on page four of your program. The list of award recipients presented here tonight and those presented throughout the year can be found on page 21 of your program. May I ask our graduating students to please rise and remain standing. President Paul Vogt, would you please step forward? I request that you confer upon these candidates and those in absentia the academic credentials for which they have qualified. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit those present and those in absentia to the certificate, diploma, or degree for which the prescribed studies have been completed with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Graduates, close your eyes. Think back to your first day at Red River College. Think back to walking the halls for the first time, finding your locker, walking into those classrooms, a little nervous, a little anxious, a little excited. Think about those hours you spent on your assignments. Think about some of those doubts you had. And think about the first time when you got back that assignment and thought, I can do it. I can really do this. Think about the friends you have met in your classes. Think about the fun you've had, the laughter you've shared, and maybe some tears too. Think about those instructors who guided and supported and walked alongside with you. Think about that first day that you walked into Red River College. And now take this moment and be present here with us and know that you did it. And it's time to celebrate. So graduates, open your eyes and move your tassels across your head from the left to the right, or the right to the left. <laughs> you are now officially graduates of Red River College. You may be seated. We are now ready to start the presentation of parchments. As there are quite a number of presentations, we ask that all graduates and guests remain in attendance until parchments are presented and the ceremony concludes. Joanne Kelly and Dan Van Bonnecker will announce the graduates as they cross the stage. The dean or representative of each school will congratulate and shake the hands of each graduate. Marilyn Kenny, member of the Red River College Board of Governors, will present the gold medals. President Paul Vogt has the honor of presenting each graduate with their parchment. Sean will present the alumni pins. And, as is Red River College tradition, many of your faculty and chairs and coordinators will be waiting for you on the other end of the stage to greet you and congratulate you. Joanne and Dan, I think we're ready. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joanne Kelly. I'm honored to present the graduates for the certificate, diploma, and degree programs at Red River College for spring 2017. Dan and I want to make sure, this is your big moment. We want to make sure we get your name right. So what I'm going to get you to do is not wait over there, but actually come on up. You're going to, while people are getting their degrees, you're going to tell me how to say your name. So I say it right. Um, and we'll start with that.
Before we begin, we'd like to recognize graduates from the winter 2017 ceremonies who are accepting gold medals in their programs today. For the Motor Vehicle Body Repair Program, here's gold medal winner Leonard Reimer. From the Center for Teaching Excellent Innovation and Research, these are the graduates of the Certificate in Adult Education, Jessica DeBen. Richard McGill. And this completes the graduates of the Certificate in Adult Education program. The graduates of the Architectural Engineering Diploma Program are Florian Boxhorn, Angelica Karendang, Kendra Friesen, TJ Happychuck. Joshua Lund. Joshua Lund. Kitcher. Jocelyn Manis Kitcher. Alex Nickel. Alex Nickel. and Cheryl Richkowski. And this completes the graduates of the Architectural Engineering Technology Diploma Program. The graduates of the Bachelor of Technology Construction Management degree are gold medalist Adam Rice, Brennan Balaz, Bellingham. Thomas Kyle Bellingham, Joshua James Brandon Campbell, Carlisle, Andrew William Carlisle. Lucas Gannon. <laughs> Kayla Michelle Marie Gervais. <laughs> Shirumal Gunawardana. Abel Gutierrez. Komodowski, Komodowski. Trevor Komodowski. Raymond Kwong. Kevin Olilo. Jonathan Skibicki. Yeah. Vincent. Ben Vincent. And this completes the graduates of the Bachelor of Technology Construction Management degree. The graduates of the Building Design Technology Diploma are gold medalist Derek Martins, Glyph Makalua. <laughs> K 
Keisha Magnay. And this completes the graduates of the Building Design Technology Diploma Program. And the graduate of the Environmental Engineering Technology Diploma Program is Ariel Mallory. And the graduate of the Geographic Information Systems Technology Advanced Diploma is Grace Ruth Quintana. The graduates of the Geomatics Technology Diploma Program are Braden Arsney. Joseph Astelford. Justin B.B. Brand. Bencharski. Mitchell Bencharski. Jonathan Braska. Hendricks. Matthew Hendricks. Jasmine Johnson. Jana McFall. Jana McFall. McGonagall. Jaden McGonagall. Massimo Petrelli. Massimo Petrelli. and Mackenzie Richardson. And this completes the graduates of the Geomatics Technology Diploma Program. The graduates of the Green Space Horticultural Certificate Program is Baminder Singh. The graduates of the Municipal Engineering Technology Diploma Program are, is Arturus Alerco. Remy Andre. Remy Andre. Begau. Begau. Glenn Mark Begau. Lawrence Senko. Rene de Racine. Ellis. Derek Ellis. Naveen Fernando. Yeah. Sawit. Brendan Sawit. Shoden. Ralph Shoden. Yeah, Ralph. Jasper John Vergara. Paul Slobicki. And this completes the graduates of the Municipal Engineering Technology Diploma Program. Okay. 
The graduates of the Structural Engineering Technology Diploma are John Eric Arellano, Eric Bart. Bert. Cameron Bert. Cameron Bert. Stephen Burnett. Stephen Burnett. Renz Javin. Dennis Quast, Lin, Lin. Juan Lin, Jacqueline Phillips, Jacqueline Phillips, Christopher Schneider, Christopher Schneider. Lucas Santos. Vandel. And Jason Vandell. This completes the graduates of the Structural Engineering Technology Diploma Program. The graduates of the Carpentry Apprenticeship Program, Daniel Hofer. Derek Hofer. Robert Martins. Robert Martins. Joshua Plant. Joshua Plant. Rogalski. Matt Rogalski. and Ryland Warren. And this completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Carpenter Diploma Program. The graduates of the Apprenticeship Lather Interior Systems Mechanic Diploma Program are Adedeo Adewakun. Charles Nguyen Namelu. And this completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Lather Interior Systems Mechanic Diploma Program. Natalie Anthony. The graduates of the Apprenticeship Painter and Decorator Certificate Program are Natalie Anthony. Medina. And Llewellyn Medina. And this completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Painter and Decorator Certificate Program. David Lemieux. The graduates of the Apprenticeship Plumber Diploma Program are gold medalist David Lemieux. And that completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Plumber Diploma Program. The graduates of the Cabinetry and Woodworking Technology Dipl Diploma Program are gold medalist Stacy Patton. Tim Dunn. Tim Dunn. Hasbeek. And Jared Hasbeek. And this completes the graduates of the Cabinetry and Woodworking Technology Diploma Program. Gomez. The graduates of the Carpentry Certificate Program are Boston Gomez. And Zach Knight. And Zach Knight. And this completes the graduates of the Carpentry Certificate Program. 
And the graduate of the Plumbing Certificate Program is Brent Anderson. The graduates of the Electrical Engineering Technology Diploma Program are Colin Baker. Bitto. Simon Bitto. Ravi Gopal. Ravi Gopal. Christoph Hagebimana. Bakwera Germain Ketoriera. Mark Mendoza. Mark Mendoza. Kazim Owade. Prit Kumar Patel. Umar Safdar Shahid. Joshindeep Sidhu. Sikchung Tao. Ning Wong. Shang Yi. Johannes. Yiman Johannes. Minzi Zhang. The graduates of the Electronic and Network Technician Certificate Program are Joshua Beltran and Cabo. Jan Tristan and Cabo. Gurik Bal Gill. Cody Hellman. Luna. Cedric Luna. Penny. Nicholas Penny. Sandeep Singh. And Sandeep Singh. And this completes the graduates of the Electronic and Network Technician Certificate Program. Mayada. The graduates of the Electronic Engineering Technology Diploma Program are Minami Mayada. Trent Nelson. Trent Nelson. Daniel Petrov, Stoiko, and Roman Stoiko. And this completes the graduates of the Electronic Engineering Technology Diploma Program. The graduate of the Instrumentation Engineering Technology Diploma Program is Ochuko Onakpoya. The graduates of the Network Technology CCNA Certificate Program are Gursharan Hans, Olwali Johnson, Tim Thomas, and Tim Thomas. And this completes the graduates of the Network Technology CCNA Certificate Program. 
The graduates of the Apprenticeship Construction Electrician Diploma Program are gold medalist Jeff Remke. Colton Buck. Jose Castro. Jose Castro. Colo, Colo. Rob Colo. Grogan. Alexander Grogan. Elmer Harder. Coop, Josh Coop. Josh Coop. Roman Copica. Roman Copica. Mark Lanzar. Lennington. Peter Lennington. Russell Lowen. Russell Lowen. Lushinsky. Mark Lushinsky. Jason Neiser. Caden O'Donohue. Caden O'Donohue. Pryden. Tyler Pryden. Sankovic. Sankovic. Christian Sankovic. Shergold. Travis Shergold. Van Elfen. And Justin Van Elfen. And this completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Construction Electrician Diploma. The graduate of the Apprenticeship Power Electrician Diploma Program is Mark Gerard L. Reyes. <clears throat> From the School of Health Sciences and Community Services, these are the graduates of the Animal Health Technology Diploma Program. Gold medalist, Jessica Ryak. Ashley Addison. Drager. Carly Drager. Elias. Elias. Jacqueline Elias. Shaylin Foos. Shaylin Foos. Levina Gerbrandt. Ginter. Jessica Ginter. Harms? Yeah. Janessa Harms. Janessa Harms. <laughs> Stephanie Kolodka. Amanda Malam. Courtney Peters. Courtney Peters. Ruiz. Ruiz. Vanessa Ruiz. Shanda. 
Sydney Shand. Courtney Smith. Courtney Smith. Haley Stewart. Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Yeah! Kelly Thompson. Yeah! Kelly Thompson. Yeah! Kelly Thompson. Shana Tote. Shana Tote. And Shana Tote. This completes the graduates of the Animal Health Technology Diploma Program. The graduate of the Chemical and Biosciences Technology Diploma is Grace Louise Esparnar. The graduates of the Dental Assisting Certificate Program are Tiffany Hamilton Acosta. Lacey Asham. Allison Birch. Allison Birch. Shantana Blair. Alyssa Cantor. Alyssa Cantor. Shandera. Juliana Shandera. Sherry Charon. Sherry Charon. Whitney Clayton. Alexandra Colatruglio. Yes. Joyce Diaz. Joyce Diaz. Courtney Ewan. Courtney Ewan. Courtney Ewan. Jessica Friesen. Kim Gakuzen. Kim Gakuzen. Maria Garcia. Maria Garcia. Zane Hassan. Zane Hassan. Zane Hassan. Christopher Hebert. Tatiana Kansky. Taylor Kavanaugh. Taylor Kavanaugh. Robin Knight. Robin Knight. Robin Knight. Carissa LaRiviere. Lewak. Stacy Lewak. Stacy Lewak. Lauren Martin. Lauren Martin. Lauren Martin. McGibney. Kaylee McGibney. Kaylee McGibney. Chelsea Olenek. Opar. Alexandra Opar. Alexandra Opar. Nikea Pontes. Nikea Pontes. Nikea Pontes. Tatiana Price. Tatiana Price. Tatiana Price. Demi Quinto. 
Demi Quinto. Mary Sal Regassa. Sydney Renwick. Sydney Renwick. Romano. Chantal Romano. Chantal Romano. Ashley Ross. Latoya Shumsky. Prashant Sidhu. Prashant Sidhu. Prashant Sidhu. Smell? Yeah. Aisha Smella. Aisha Smella. Megan Smith. Faith Somo. Brianne Totten. Brianne Totten. Jessica Verrier. Jessica Verrier. Is it Voss or Voss? Brandy Voss. Sarbjit Wering. Kimberly Wright. And Kimberly Wright. This completes the graduates of the Dental Assisting Certificate Program. The graduates of the Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Certificate Program are Desiree Abouan. Tanner William Egar. Juliana Roberta Conceição Alves. Mary Lynn Kubal. Lou Diane de Rojas. Princess Francisco. Princess Francisco. Krishdeep Kaur. Krishdeep Kaur. Carmel Lozada. Lozada. Carmel Lozada. Carmel Lozada. Wenny Mendoza. Harjot Singh Sudhu. Andrew Silva. Andrew Silva. And Andrew Silva. This completes the graduates of the Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Certificate Program. The graduates of the QA, QC, and the Pharmaceutical Industry Advanced Diploma Program are Amadou Ba. Sona Chaudhry. Sona Chaudhry. Sona Chaudhry. Shahani Chavez. Shahani Chavez. Shahani Chavez. Yogesh Gaulat. Harneet Grewal. Harneet Kaur Grewal. Harneet Kaur Grewal. Harleen Kaur? Harleen Kaur. Harleen Kaur. Harmin Preet Kaur. Harmin Preet Kaur. 
Harman Preetkar. Ahmed Saeed Kazi. Ahmed Saeed Kazi. Ahmed Saeed Kazi. Yulia Kreiter. Kreiter. Yulia Kreiter. Yulia Kreiter. Wong Le. Wong Le. Wong Le. Wong Le. Karan Mahindru. Hensi Mamrawala. Hensi Mamrawala. Hensi Mamrawala. Manuela Galindo. Manuela Galindo. Manuela Galindo. Sumut Pande. Sumut Pande. Sumut Pande. Sumut Pande. Sufyan Patel? Yeah. Sufyan Patel. Sufyan Patel. V. Babi Patel. V. Babi Patel. V. Babi Patel. Manavi Rali. Manavi Rali. Manavi Rali. Luvim Robles. Luvim Robles. Manpreet Kaur Sadhu. Manpreet Kaur Sadhu. Manpreet Kaur Sadhu. Gaurav Sharma. Gaurav Sharma. Gaurav Sharma. Avneet Sadhu. Avneet Sadhu. Avneet Sadhu. Avneet Sadhu. Just Jeet Singh. Rip Daman Singh. Rip Daman Singh. Rip Daman Singh. Ilona. 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 And Ilona Ulanoff. This completes the graduates of the QA, QC, and the Pharmaceutical Industry Advanced Diploma Program. Professor Hamilton, Science Laboratory Development. The graduate of the, uh, graduate of the Science Laboratory Technology Diploma Program is Carson Hamilton. Princess Faye Arabit. Arabit. The graduates of the Bachelor of Nursing Degree Program are Princess Faye Arabit. <laughs> Jordan Michael Arceta. Jordan Michael Arceta. Ave Gail Barsega. Bueller? Chelsea Bueller. Chelsea Bueller. Crawford. Jillian Crawford. Jillian Crawford. Amber Davis. Amber Davis. Amber Davis. Charmaine Ann de la Cruz. Kelly Hogan. Kelly Hogan. Kelly Hogan. Suzanne Moore. Suzanne Moore. Suzanne Moore. Stephen Pagu. Stephen Pagu. Sarah Richards. Michael Rokin. Rokin. Michael Rokin. Michael Rokin. Rosalind Santillan. 
Rosalind Santillan. Andrea Sullivan. And Candace Taylorson. This completes the graduates of the Bachelor of Nursing degree program. The graduates of the Healthcare Aid Certificate program are Charisse Joy Aborde. Alex Avila. Leanna Barker. Leanna Barker. Leanna Barker. Rupinder Dalawal. Rupinder Dalawal. Deepa Dillon. Deepa Dillon. Deepa Dillon. Isabel Essex. Jody Ezekiel. Ari Farpela. Ari Farpela. Ari Farpela. Dylan Gomez. Dylan Gomez. Colin Howe. Fibo Hun. Fibo Hun. Fibo Hun. Rebecca Irvin. Mia Anita Francis Leplume. Melanie Labossier. Angela McDonald. Angela McDonald. Medina. Mariel Medina. Mariel Medina. Angelique Mayos. Angelique Mayos. Angelique Mayos. Taylor Nault. <laughs> Rebecca Peters. Rebecca Peters. Rizella. Tasha Rosella. Tasha Rosella. Tangamani Rosamin. Tangamani Rosamin. Tangamani Rosamin. Lauren Sawchuk. Seaton? Yeah. Brianne Seaton. Brianne Seaton. Uh, Clyde Edward Soto? Soto? Clyde Edward Soto. Clyde Edward Soto. Jessica Taylor. Jessica Taylor. Jessica Taylor. And Christina Zanella. This completes the graduates of the Healthcare Aid Certificate Program. From the School of Indigenous Education, these are the graduates of the Access Aircraft Maintenance and Manufacturing Program. Earl Reiner Alejo. and Mahmoud Inami. This completes the graduates of the Access Aircraft Maintenance and Manufacturing Program. Oh, one, two, three, there we go. Uh, Lara Hunter, okay. Lara Hunter. 
The graduates of the Community Development, Community Economic Development Diploma, Diploma Program are gold medalist Lara Hunter. Marcus Askar. Don Marie Cote. Alicia Corshane. Alicia Corshane. Holly Alexandra Dick. What's your name? Greg McIver. Greg McIver. Greg McIver. OFM. OFM. And OFM. This completes the graduates of the Community Development, Community Economic Development Diploma Program. The graduate of the Computer Applications for Business Diploma Program is gold medalist Lisa Reed. The graduates of the Introduction to Trade Certificate Program are Christian Keeper. Kirk And Kirk Meitwayashing. This completes the graduates of the Introduction to Trades Certificate Program. From the Transportation, Aviation, and Manufacturing, these are the graduates of the Apprenticeship Machinist Diploma Program, David Ginter. And this completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Machinist Diploma Program. The graduates of the Manufacturing Technician Diploma Program are gold medalist Dallas Duncombe. Sarah Dare. Sarah Dare. Gabriel Goujon Gagnon. Chong Li? Chong Li. Chong Li. Scott Roman? Scott Roman. Scott Roman. Scott Roman. Alex Savoy. Alex Savoy. Alex Savoy. Arshinder Sidhu. And Derek Van Bergen. This completes the graduates of the Manufacturing Technician Diploma Program. The graduate of the Mechanical Engineering Technology Diploma Program is Abhinav Aurora. The graduates of the Power Engineering Technology Diploma Program are gold medalist Harvinder Alec. Roman Sosnovsky? Roman Sosnovsky. Roman Sosnovsky. Young? David Young? David Young. And David Young. This completes the graduates of the Power Engineering Technology Diploma Program. The graduates of the Precision Metal Machining Certificate Program are Jason Gutierrez. Sarah LeClaire. Sarah LeClaire. Mark Marquina. Mark Marquina. Mark Marquina. Sabah Messi. Sabah Messi. Sabah Messi. And Kenneth Simbulan. 
This completes the graduates of the Precision Metal Machining Certificate Program. The graduates of the Technology Management Advanced Diploma Program are Ashish Deep. Gurwinder Chima. Shangwai Fu. Sartak Kasundra. Kunal Kohli. Sanjeev Gopinath Menon. Eric Mondragon. Petrikin? Natalia Petrikin. Natalia Petrikin. Minu Elizabeth Saji. Erica Silva. Ranbir Singh. Ranbir Singh. Rafaela Fagundes. Rafaela Fagundes. Rafaela Fagundes. No, she had the red thing. Gunnar Singh Bar. Gunnar Singh the graduates of the Technology Management Certificate Program are Gunur Singh Brar. Mandeep Golan. Mandeep Golan. Mandeep Golan. Mani Goyal. Mani Goyal. Mani Goyal. And this completes the graduates of the Technology Management Certificate Program. The graduates of the Welding Certificate Program are Ryan Bagley. Lori Bonwick. Lori Bonwick. Lori Bonwick. Jordan Fazio. Jordan Fazio. Jordan Fazio. Austin Lusek. Lusek. Austin Lusek. Austin Lusek. Lisa Mayhem. John Quinn. John Quinn. John Quinn. Charles Woods. Charles Woods. Charles Woods. Bing Zhao. Bing Zhao. And a Bing Zhao. This completes the graduates of the Welding Certificate Program. Glenn Grant. Glenn, Glenn Grant. The graduates of the Aerospace Manufacturing Certificate Program are Glenn Grant. Kipanga Kisu. Kipanga Kisu. And Kipanga Kisu. This completes the graduates of the Aerospace Manufacturing Certificate Program. Kia what? Kia Bao. Kia Bao. The graduates of the Aircraft Maintenance Engineer Diploma Program are Tia Bao. Uh, John Lemuel Kangne. Riley Franklin. Riley Franklin. Christian Interino. Christian Interino. Lujian. 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 Austin Ramos. Austin Ramos. Manjeet Simk. And Manjeet Simk. 
This completes the graduates of the Aircraft Maintenance Engineer Diploma Program. The graduate of the Apprenticeship Automotive Service Painter Certificate Program is Drew McCrae. The graduates of the Apprenticeship Automotive Service Technician Diploma Program are Gold Medalist Matthew Silva. Patrick Perong. Patrick Perong. Patrick Perong. This completes the graduates of the Apprenticeship Automotive Service Technician Diploma Program. The graduates of the Automotive Technician Certificate Program are Alexandra Michelle Craig. Sapioles. Sapioles. And Aaron Sapioles. This completes the graduates of the Automotive Technician Certificate Program. The graduate of the Apprenticeship Truck and Transport Program is Yibo Lu. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the graduates for the Certificate, Diploma, and Degree programs at Red River College for Spring 2017. Let's give them a big round of applause. Graduates, you may stand up, turn around, and greet your families and friends. Thank you, you may be seated. Well, you were a student, then you were a graduate, and now you're an alumni. So I invite Sean Scrimger, our alumni manager, to welcome you to the family. Thank you, Christine. Good evening, everyone. It's a distinguished honor to be here today, standing before you all. As Christine said, my name is Sean Scrimger. I am not only a, pr a proud member of Red River College's alumni community, I also have the privilege of working with the college as the new alumni relations manager. This exciting opportunity allows me to give back to an organization that has offered me so much. Convocation is an amazing occasion celebrating your huge achievements. It's a day surrounded by excitement and pride about your accomplishments. Everyone present and those watching the ceremonies online are incredibly proud of you today. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, children, friends, instructors, peers, and even me. When we see you, we see the future, and it looks like a bright one for us all. We know that great things are in store for you. We're excited for you not just for what we're celebrating today, but for what is coming next. Life is a wild ride, and everyone here can't wait for you to grasp it on and hold tight. I wish to thank you for allowing me to share in this celebration by bringing you greetings on behalf of Red River College's ever-growing and proud group of alumni. Nearly 10 years ago, I was sitting in the exact same chair you are now. I remember being excited to be graduating from Red River College's Business Administration program, slightly nervous about not knowing exactly what I wanted to be when I grew up, and a bit numb from sitting in a chair for three hours. <laughs> but seriously, at that time, I didn't realize how vast 
and incredible the Red River College family is. And I also couldn't fathom how important my college education would prove to be. Almost a decade after graduating from Red River College, I've had a diverse and most importantly, fun career that I've loved. I've been able to get out and travel the world, meeting the most fascinating people in each of its corners, directly resulting from opportunities that came into my life after graduation. Even this week, I had the pleasure of meeting one of our proud graduates named Oliver Holderson. 50 years ago, after his graduation from business administration in 1967, Oliver and his wife, Saul Bjorg, traveled from their home in Iceland to visit Winnipeg. Traveling across Canada, he made a specific stop at Red River College, not only because he holds very fond memories from his time as a student, but he also wanted to see how the college has changed over the years. He was shocked by how much we've grown. Oh, and he also wanted to ensure to get a copy of his transcript. Olafur and his wife are currently traveling the world, embarking on amazing trekking adventures. He attributes a great deal of success to his education at RRC. Wherever you are in the world, we'll always hope that you come back home and share your story. Similar opportunities will present themselves to you as well. I guarantee it. Be sure to keep your eyes open as well as your mind. After today, no longer are you a student. Rather, you are alumni. A very strong, incredibly talented, and hardworking group of highly engaged and energized people who serve as Red River College's ambassadors. There are thousands upon thousands of our alumni around the world. They are leaders in their communities and mentors in the workplace. Who knows? An alum may be the one to offer you your first job after graduation, and you yourself may be in the position one day to hire our next generation of RRC graduates. Our alumni maintain a tight-knit community and our demanding, grueling, and rewarding programs ensure we recognize and respect a fellow graduate every time we meet one. Alumni relations at Red River College is about maintaining your relationship and creating opportunities for you to con continue to be engaged. Whether it's through events, volunteer opportunities, or mentoring the next generation, we ask that you stay in touch and stay involved with us. We know that you're incredibly busy. We simply ask that when you receive communication from us, give it a look and stay current with what's going on. Red River College has grown and changed over the years, and so has the face of our alumni program because of graduates like you who have kept in touch. So I ask for your help with this. If you get a phone call from us, answer it, and let us know what you've been up to. If we invite you to join us at an event, attend it and enjoy. When the opportunity arises, share the fantastic experience you had at Red River College with others. People want to hear about your success story and the path leading to it. And finally, if there's something you ever need from us, let us know, we're always here for you. My final point today comes with some sage advice from the author of the book, The Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz. Under any circumstance, always do your best. No more and no less. When you have balance in your life, your career becomes an entirely different and amazing experience. There is a passion that moves you to a whole new lev level of fulfillment and gratitude. And that's when you can do your best for yourself and for others around you. So go ahead, make mistakes, take chances, find massive success, fall down and get back up every time. Take full advantage of great opportunity put before you. Live life happily, freely, and boldly. Have the courage of your convictions and work tirelessly towards making our community a better place. Feel pride for being a rebel. Get excited to be an alumni, and welcome to the club. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Now that you're an alumni, you're part of an incredible network of people who make a difference in our community every day. And I bet that we have some alumni in the crowd as well. 
And so I would invite all of those alumni who are with us today to celebrate our graduates' achievements to also rise and be recognized as the rebels you truly are. Welcome home. An event such as tonight would not have been possible without an incredible group of people who work in front and behind the scenes to make this event a special one. Thank you to all of those who have contributed to, to tonight's event. Thank you also to our platform party guests and all of you for joining us this evening, including our honorary degree doc our honorary degree recipient, Paul Charette, and his family. Thank you, graduates, for choosing us, for choosing Red River College. We are all very proud of you and your accomplishments. At Red River College, it's a tradition to have a student give the last word. I now call upon Lauren Sleggers, president of the Red River College Students Association, for her remarks on behalf of the students, for she sat where you were last night. Good evening. Thank you and welcome to the college staff, distinguished guests, family and friends, and most importantly, the graduates for being here tonight. It is an honor to be able to speak the last word on behalf of the students. What you have accomplished is nothing short of amazing. Whether your program lasted a few months or a few years, you are now holding a very special piece of paper and a title that can never be taken away from you. You are now college graduates. Whether your certificate, diploma, or degree helps you land your dream job, carries you to the next step in your education, or just gives you bragging rights, it will stay with you for the rest of your life. A Red River graduate myself, I know what it took for you to get here tonight. The late nights, the long hours, the caffeine. I also know the incredible feeling of getting your first great mark, completing your first year or semester of studies, and finally walking across this very stage, proving that all your hard work was worth it. I hope that you will all continue on to do great things in your lives, that you will get your dream job and live your lives to the fullest, but that you will never forget your time here at Red River College. Don't forget the memories and experiences that you had here. Don't lose the friends and connections that you made here. You will always be a part of the Red River College community. One of my instructors is notorious for responding to questions by saying that it's yours to manage, or in other words, figure it out yourself. Although that was the last thing that I or any of my peers ever wanted to hear when there was a pile of other assignments and tests to study for, he was right. You have been given the skills and knowledge that you need to succeed, and now it is up to you to decide what your future will hold. So congratulations to you, graduates of Red River College. On behalf of everyone at the Red River College Students Association, we wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Now go and have fun, celebrate, you've earned it. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Please join us for a reception in the side lobbies here at the Centennial Concert Hall. A special thanks to Red River College Students Association and Food Services for hosting this evening's reception. To all of our graduates, I know you love wearing those gowns, but we really do need them back. So please don't go home with them and leave them here before you leave and try not to spill coffee on them. Graduates and guests, this concludes our ceremony, and as Lauren said, it's time to celebrate. Please rise and remain standing for the departure of our platform party and guests. <laughs>